the pomp and ceremony of a formal guard of honour in the forecourt of the Foreign and Commonwealth Office in the heart of Whitehall. A ceremony to mark the arrival of Iraqi Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki, the leader of a country emerging out of six years of war, more than ten years of economic sanctions. The bulk of British forces will withdraw from Iraq by the end of July. Some will remain and continue their training and mentoring assignments beyond that time. The ceremony marked a new era of relations between the two countries. A new chapter that Prime Minister Gordon Brown, speaking in Downing Street, was quick to refer to. Today Iraq is a success story. We owe much of that to the efforts of British troops. They've been working closely with their Iraqi counterparts. Our mission has not always been an easy one. Many have said that we would fail. But when Prime Minister Maliki and I were able to look back today, I was able to congratulate him on successful provincial elections in January, in which there were over 14,000 candidates competing against each other in an election widely viewed as fair and free. Economic growth last year estimated 10 per cent. Four million Iraqi children having received life-saving vaccinations since 2003. 3,000 schools refurbished. Iraqi security forces totaling 60,000 personnel now in place. And polls show that in Basra, 65% of people say their lives are going well. I pay tribute to your leadership of Iraq, President, Prime Minister Maliki, and I say that Britain too can be proud of our legacy that we leave there. Today was not just about the past, it was about the future. Today the Prime Minister and I have signed a declaration of friendship, of partnership and cooperation between our two countries which sets out a new basis for the relations between Britain and Iraq. It is founded on our shared political, cultural and economic interests, a secure, prosperous and democratic Iraq, able to exploit its own great economic potential and able to provide security for its people working closely with its neighbours and the rest of the international community. Can I say and he said a new positive future awaits both countries. Britain and Iraq have deep historical ties. The last six years have changed our relationship again. The history books will chronicle how our two countries' destinies were so closely intertwined. And today we open the next chapter in our relations, a chapter which I preface with my deep respect and appreciation for Iraq's achievements and my gratitude to Britain's armed forces who have made such a lasting contribution. They will stay uh, in Iraq uh, for a number more weeks. They will not leave Iraq finally uh, until some weeks from now. But this is a chapter which will tell the story of Britain and Iraq uh, for the future equals allies, business partners and always friends in the community of nations. Thank you, Prime Minister. With opportunities for trade and investment, some 250 leading businesses met with Iraqi government officials in London to possibly participate in the so-called new chapter of Iraq.